So what with I the book, because I want to get this out mm -hmm. because Carol pinged me yesterday um, saying, hey, do you have that landing page yet? Because the one thing that I learned also from that, that um, we'll call it a webinar. I don't know what you want to call it yesterday was what these guys are doing, all three of them, the Sharon dude, and I've seen Sharon around in some other, some other places. Between him and Dean and Tristan, it's, you know, it's all about the data. It's all about the list. Mm -hmm. And so that's the one thing that I've learned over the last several months. It's all about collecting data and then, um, you know, figuring out how to monetize it. Yes. And so, here's 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 as simple as it gets like i'm gonna really dumb this down like it's really this simple now the top of the funnel is where is where everything starts and what i mean by the top of the funnel it's the traffic it's 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 where we're directing the traffic all this social media shit all of it all that is is traffic right instagram post a facebook post this post that post it's just to get traffic. Where are we directing that traffic? So right now, the only option has been directing it straight here. But as we mentioned, as, as everybody, as we know, the only thing that we're missing is the damn lead, right? We don't have that data. We're not collecting that data. We're not right. collecting that lead, right? Because Amazon owns it um, and they don't share it with us. So that's been your option. That's been your only path is to direct them straight here. So yeah, what right. your friend is saying and what I've been saying, no, we got to take them to a landing page so we can actually have them opt in. So here is an example. Um, and, and, and through Kartra. So through Kartra, this is, this is what we call an entire funnel. If we were going to sell it straight through Kartra. Now with Kartra, you need your own merchant account. I use Stripe to, to process the payment. Everything is processed through Kartra. The, the analytics, the sales, I can look at the reporting. I can look at everything through Kartra, but Kartra is not a merchant account. What I use for a merchant account is Stripe. And so Stripe is the most popular online merchant account for business owners. So if you're selling anything on the internet, this is the most popular. Okay. It's free. You're obviously charged per transaction as any credit card processor would charge. I think it's like 2.9%. Is what I pay on every transaction, which is standard for anything and everything. But this is the most popular. So if we were selling it on our own, Kartra is that one platform for everything. But here's what I'm saying is that we've been taking the traffic straight to Amazon and doing it that way. And 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 and, and you can continue to do that, do it that way. If you don't want to, because because if we're gonna sell it on Kartra or or online ourselves like this, and now we got to go through a, a merchant account and now we have to set up our own landing pages. If we're going to do it that way, that means that we're also shipping it out. Yeah. So, so, so that might be a headache as well. And, and at the same time, you need inventory. You need to be sitting on inventory because if these things start selling like hotcake, then we got to have that product on hand so we can ship the damn thing out. So that could be, that could be something else to think about as well, because that could be another expense that we may not, you know, have right, have, have a budget for right now. Right. Um, um, so with that being said, if we're not going to sell it on our own independently just yet right. and have our own merchant account just yet, we can still leverage faith or, or Amazon. However, the traffic is going to go to a landing page first, which is what we mentioned before. But, and, and so that's when I came over here and created the entire funnel, but at the same time, and let me, let me, let me, let me go to the category. Here's the book funnel. So it's really just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages that is, an, that is what we call a quote-unquote funnel. Now, we don't have an upsell just yet. We don't have a downsell. We don't have our course. We don't have any other coaching. If we're talking just the damn book, okay, here's what we can easily do. Like you can easily, like for example, here's my, here's my one simple uh, book page. And so here's what I would, here's, here's what I'm suggesting now. And, and this, is, this is what I use through Kartra. So I have two different sales pages. One is an actual sales page. And one, one is this page right here. So this is my sales page, which is what I created for you over here. That's this one over here. It's already created. All you got to do is go in there and edit. But, 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 but the template is, is, is this right here. This is this page of mine. So new book reveals the top five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. So this is me 
I, this template was already here. It's provided by Kartra. And I just came in and edited the words and put my own little words in there. There's a picture of my book. And so when anyone clicks on it, and it's a digital book, so I don't have to ship anything out. It's a digital book. They come here, they buy my book, and it's instantly emailed to them through Kartra. And they get a download. They download right now. Okay, so this is my sales page. Now, in your case, you're not going to necessarily have a full sales page like this where they purchase it because, again, we're purchasing it here independently versus purchasing on Amazon. If we still want to remain purchasing on Amazon, it's a simple page like this one. Then I would just simply take them to one page. Here's my free book page. So it's the same book, but depending if I like you or not, let me go to... Um, Sometimes I'll send people my free book page link. So I'll send people here, free book reveals the top five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads to build your personal brand fast. So there's, there's a simple image of the book. There's a few bullet points. Send me the book. There's a countdown clock. Here's a few testimonials. Those are your six reviews that you got. People can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. This all created on, on a Kartra page, simple, simple page. But as a person clicks on send me the book, name, email, and then, and then your button can say something like, it wouldn't be send me the book because they haven't, they haven't you know, purchased yet, but, but we can easily word this however the hell we want to word it. First name, email, and then this button will say something like, show me more. And then when they click on that button, now we capture the lead and automatically they're sent here. So that's one way you can easily do it. Um, you can easily do it that way. You can send them to one page, capture the email, and then send them here to make the purchase. Okay. That's simple. That's as simple as it gets. That's as simple as it gets. Um, now, on the marketing side of it all, here is one of my mentors that, I, that, I, that I've been learning from for the last few years. This guy literally crushes it, crushes it, crushes it. Um, has a company valued at a couple hundred million. So yeah, I, I, I met him. He was here in Atlanta last year. He was yeah. on, I didn't meet him. He was on stage. So all he does with his books is if I click on any video and he just released this one, Traffic Secrets, he offers his books. And before that, he had dot com secrets. He had expert secrets. He's had three books. This is his third book. And every book is free plus shipping. So he's getting that whole concept. It's free plus shipping and he's charging $9.95 for shipping. So he's still making a few dollars per, per unit. But what he does to market it is he simply goes Facebook live and he puts out YouTube videos and he talks about the book. He actually reads different parts of the book. That's one thing that you're not doing. That's one thing that you're going to have to do. You're either going to go Facebook live a few times per week and talk about the book. Don't pitch the book. Talk about it. Say, hey, guys, just wanted to come on. I want to talk to you about chapter three. In chapter three, here's what I was talking about. So if you guys know anyone like this or if it might be, be you, click the link below and get your copy today. Like you're still selling it, but you're selling it indirectly. But where you're, where you're, where you're lacking is the, is the content, is the daily Facebook lives or, or putting up YouTube videos. That's the only thing that, 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 that you're not doing. So it's, it's either you're going to do Facebook lives or you're going to run a Facebook ad. So that, that, that's what, what I, I, I truly believe in. I truly believe in the Facebook ad because shit, I mean, a Facebook live is only going to last for so long and, and I have to do it every damn day. And, right. and, and, and the exposure is only going to be so much. That Facebook live is going to go to, going to go to all my Facebook friends and, and hopefully these few thousand that I have on my personal Facebook page, hopefully they're interested. These people on Instagram, the people following me, hopefully they're somewhat my type of, of client, which most of them probably aren't. That's how social media is. We get followers from a bunch of random ass people, yeah. you know? And so, and so that's why unless you're strategically adding friends like me, my Facebook, I'll have my Facebook back up in a, in a, in a day or so. But if it, like what I did is I literally strategically added 
my friends. Now my 5,000 friends on my personal Facebook page, literally every single one of them is a real estate agent. Every single one of them. And so what I've been doing, as I mentioned in our email, the way I've gotten business since 2016 is I literally direct message because every single one of my friends is in my niche. I strategically requested friends on Facebook that way. No one does it that way. All your followers on LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, they're all random ass people. They're not invest. They're not all investors at all. So that's why I'm truly against really to tell you the truth. I'm against Facebook live because we're going Facebook live to an audience that doesn't give a shit unless they do. I could be wrong. If you have 5,000 women that are all real estate agents and they're all looking to invest, okay, great. But I'm willing to bet most don't have that because they didn't strategically request friends that way at all. So that's why not only does a Facebook Live take your time, but it also, it also is, is, is exposing to maybe the wrong audience. And that's why I'd rather run a Facebook ad, target the right audience, and have that damn thing going on 24 hours while I'm sleeping. Yeah. And that, and that makes sense. Yeah. I've, I've gotten, I've been strategic for probably about a year now with who I add. I probably have 400 pending friend requests and half of them. Like, I don't give a shit about you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, so all, all it, all it comes to make a long story short, it comes down to content, whether we're going to, whether you're going to go Facebook live and you're willing to do that. If, I'm saying you got to do it daily. We're pushing a book. So it has to be daily. I'm, I'm just, and if it's not going to be, be daily. Okay. Shit. Three, four times a week but it's still your effort, your physical effort. You're either going to do that or we're going to do, or we're going to do a video on, on, and run that as a Facebook ad. That's it. And, 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 and again, we're going to drive that traffic to a simple landing page to either to, no, we're going to drive them to a simple landing page to capture the lead and either sell it this way straight to consumer, or we're going to send them to a landing page, capture the lead and then send them to Amazon. <clears throat> but see, and, and, and that, that will work. But at the same time, the reason why the landing page and selling it direct to consumer yourself is more powerful for, is because of the marketing aspect of it all. When I get people to a landing page and they enter their name and email, they click submit and I bring them here, there's going to be a drop-off rate. That drop-off rate had it been, had I, had I sent, had I sent them to my purchase page, which would have been Kartra. So for example, I bring them here and now, now they hit continue and then they go through now, now I'm collecting their information before, before the, before I'm even asking for their credit card, I'm getting their information, first name, last name, email. And once they put that in, look, here's what happens because, because if I take straight, and, and again, yeah I, it is, I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I know, you know what, what you're I mean? saying. So, so that drop off rate, let's say I send 100 people here and 90 people drop off, I need to be able to retarget those 90 people. And that's what we cannot do if we sent them straight here, landing page, enter name and email, and then straight here, we can't capture the data of those drop off, of those that, that, who drop off versus, versus over here, I can. I'm asking for their email, and, and, and once, once that email goes in, here's what happens on my end, just to give you an example. Here's what happens on my end. When, when a person comes in here, and they're like, okay, shit, five bucks, okay, no big deal, I, I, I want some of that stuff. Here's what happens. I enter their, inf or, or they enter their information. It's a three-step. They, they went to the cart, they're now in the billing, and now they click continue, and now I'm asking for credit card. Just like on the Amazon, there's going to be a drop-off rate over here. And over here, there's also a drop-off rate. So when they back out of this part, for whatever reason, I have their email. And what I have set up in my email is, a, is an email autoresponder that's going to trigger the moment they leave this page. So because I got their email, I leave the page. Here's what happens. I leave the page. In a couple hours, they're going to receive an email from me. Hey, Lorraine, this is David. I noticed you were about to check out but forgot. Hey, click here and go straight to your cart. And go back to the cart to complete the order because the book's not going to be available for much longer. And then, and then seven hours later, I send another email automatically. Hey, Lorraine, just wanted to follow up. I know you forgot to check out, but hey, click here. Right? So now I'm picking up the crumbs 
that try to back out. That's, that's what we call quote unquote, abandoned cart. There's going to be people that come here and abandon the cart and, and abandon the cart. And that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. And, 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 and it's standard for every business In every business, a hundred people come here. There's a, there's a large percentage that end up leaving. But, but the good thing is the small percentage that actually purchase, those are the ones that can make us wealthy. So I don't give a shit if, if it's 90% fall off. The 10% made me rich. You know what I mean? But I still want to be able to retarget the 90% with future, with future ads and, and future emails. And I need to have that email, right? So without confusing you probably even more, it, it, it's possible if you just took them to a landing page, capture the email, and then send them straight here. And, and then through the Kartra system, we can set it up where we know who purchased and we know who didn't. So that, 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 so, so if I can't track who, who actually, you know what? I take that back. I take all that back. We can track it. So if they come to a landing page, they opt in, submit, they come straight here. And if they don't purchase, we have that email. And if, and, and, and through the Kartra system, we can tag them. Did they purchase or not? And if they did not purchase, they get sent another email. So this one cartridge system is all we need. We don't need no damn Indian. We don't need, we don't need no developer. <laughs> I'm sorry. This, this cartridge system, you don't need to split your freaking 70, 30. No, forget that. No, hell no. You ain't split nothing. This one damn software would do it all for us. So to keep it simple, I can just have a simple landing page that you're going to direct all of your traffic to. Every Facebook Live, every Facebook ad, every Instagram Live, whatever crap we're doing on social media, the call to action is to go to this link. And it's flipthetwitchbook.com or whatever the hell you purchase. That domain is going to go straight to one page where they're going to enter their name and email. And then they're going to get sent here. That's it. That's it. So, so, so that part, consider all that shit done. What you have to focus on is content. And again, we're either going to run Facebook ads or we're going to go Facebook live, or you're going to go Instagram live and everything is going to evolve around that one link. It's not, Hey, go to Amazon and type in, flip the switch. And you're going to scroll down and see 17 other books up on yeah. top. And you're going to click on my shit and you're going to no. the domain, all call to actions go to the domain. So, so so that's your only, your only thing. And again, with, with as, as, as much shit that you got going on, we got to result, result, resort to a Facebook ad because ain't no one got time to, 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 to play circus on all these damn platforms. That shit's time consuming. It's very time consuming. If, if, I can, if I can produce one three-minute video and I can run that shit to thousands of people while I'm freaking doing other shit, that's marketing. That's leveraging social media. Everyone out there is playing monkey and freaking running around with their head chopped off trying to post on 15 different platforms because Gary V says, hey, post 50 times a day. It's like, dude, are you kidding me? Like, I ain't got time for all that. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like, I got I to gotta leverage it, but, but I do know the power of social media, so I have to leverage it, and that's through advertising. Well, and, and so, so, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm just saying, uh, uh, I, I truly believe that you can easily do a three-minute video and I, I, I truly believe you can do one per week. And, and I actually if you have, take, I would say I actually have like a four and a half minute video. Perfect. Perfect. Three to five minutes, three to five minutes. I where think you're talking I about the see, book. Well, so here's what I did. Cause I thought about you over the weekend. See, you're, you're, you're in my brain. Um, Good. we went up to, so I actually, yeah, I prepped it and I'm like, oh, I'm up here. Let me do this. And I said, hey, for those of you, you know, if you picked up my copy of Flip the Switch, um, you'll remember that in chapter two, I talk about, I have my different case studies and I talk about that, you know, yes. keeping your eye on the prize. Well, here's the actual property that I reference. Oh my gosh in the book and oh then i God. like give them a tour of the house i mean it's 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 all of 800 square feet but it's a weekend lake house well we're not on the water but you know but i'm like and this is we've had some you know we've spent time up here we've had christmas up here we've built some great memories up here and so yeah i have that it probably needs to be edited um but i did do that and i think yeah i think it's like four and a half minutes or something like that but okay. i thought okay i can 
Because here's the thing, there's a lot of gurus, there's a lot of people out there that talk about all this shit that they've done, but they mm -hmm. can never show you the shit that, they're, that they've done mm -hmm. because they probably haven't. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I'm like, look, here's what I did, here it is, you know? Um, and, and the proof is in the pudding, it's here, we still have it, we still own it, we bought it in 2005. Um, See, that right there is the content, that type of stuff. Now, now, I'm, I'm telling you, I've count, I, I speak to countless people that get fired up on one damn video. I need you to do that every damn week. Like, yeah, like, I, like a video, it doesn't have to be every day. So again, forget Facebook Live. You could do Facebook Live for sure. But at the same time, we're talking now real marketing. If you were to do a video like that every week and we had a, a Facebook ad running every week, that, now we're talking. That, that's, that's what it's all about. That's, that's yeah, all it's about. That's all it's about. Is a simple Facebook ad targeting your ideal audience, and and having thousands of people go through your go through your funnel. That's all it is. Taking them to one simple page and getting them to order the damn book. That's it. Like that's it. Now, eventually, I'm gonna I'm gonna really really recommend that that I mean, you can for sure leave it on Amazon, but but you want to start you want to start your own damn thing. We want to go direct to consumer. Amazon, I don't I don't need Amazon. Amazon's fine because there's obviously a ton of traffic there. But 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 for for what we really want to do, which is run paid traffic, that that's kind of harder with 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 yeah. how this is all set up. Yeah, which I understand. Yeah, you know, um, and and one huge reason is because is because of just what Facebook calls conversions. Facebook conversion ads is what we have to be running, and that and that setup is based around the thank you page. So. In this case, we don't have a thank you page. We just have the landing page where they're entering their name and email. Once they click submit, we're sending them straight here. This would be technically a quote unquote thank you page because they just opted in. Now they're taken to a second page. This is what we're gonna call our second page. But this second page has to have a Facebook pixel, has to have your Facebook pixel, and Facebook has to know what page this is. And, and because it's an Amazon page, obviously, you know, shit, we can't add no Facebook pixel on this. So it's going to have to be a completely different ad, which, which we'll, we'll have to test. And that's a traffic ad. So a traffic ad is just driving traffic straight to a landing page and, 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 and hopefully people opt in. That's a traffic ad. Um, but conversions is, is what we really, really need. And, and I don't know if it's going to work with, with this page here. Um, just because the way the way Facebook works, that's that's all. Facebook just wants your pixel on the thank you page. This is our thank you page, and our Facebook pixel can't be on this. So I wonder. I have because I've got to wait till I close next week. I have. I've given away two copy, and and there's a weird, yeah, and there's a weird format in the book. It's just kind of a, I don't know if it was the print. I don't know if it was the printing from Amazon or what it was because it looked fine when we submitted it. Mm -hmm. um Abby said he fixed it but god only knows when that's gonna happen um because i have about 18 copies of the book at home right now those are the two um, people if you ever give out a book again you need to get in exchange a review right well yes one my daughter took and she is going to do a review awesome. and the other one video we, review video review video okay and then the other one we um holding their phones sideways always make sure they're holding their phone horizontal but go okay. Ahead. Um, and then the other one, um, my husband mailed to um, my niece, who's an agent up in New York. Awesome, awesome. Have her do a simple video if she if she's willing. You know, sometimes they're not willing, but make sure that that's you know your part of your pitch moving forward. Say, hey man, I'm willing to give you a free copy in exchange for a, a short thirty second video testimonial. That's it, because you want those videos. You need to leverage those videos for future ads and just future credibility, you know? Yeah. But what were you saying? So you, you, you have a closing and then hopefully what were you saying about Amazon printing and all that? What were you saying? If I need to, if I'm, I understand exactly what you're saying. So if I need to go the route where um, I just ship out the books, just trying to think which, you know, do I need to add one more thing to my plate right now? Or do I just go through the Amazon page for now? Cause Carol's waiting on me to, um, to, to have that done so she could do that exchange with the other guys so I can get mailed to, so that my book gets mailed to his list and his book gets mailed to mine. 
um, emails. So what is she waiting on? A landing page? She's waiting on a landing page because I don't want to just send people to Amazon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So then why don't we just, here's, here's, okay. So this is, this is a long form. This is a, this is what, and this, this one page has sold literally millions and millions of copies of a book, not my book, but just other books, because this one template has been used for a lot of different people. This is what's provided in Kartra. It's just one long sales page and you can add images, but it, um, all this is the template. All that is the template. And it's just a bunch of freaking text. Send me the book um send it it's just a bunch of text but in kartra there's many different templates so if i click on this green button i can go to squeeze pages which are just and i'm telling you a landing page is basic clean and straight to the point it's not a website so that right. so so you don't need it to be super crazy fancy in here here's what you can do later on because i don't know your exact taste i would come in here if i were you maybe later on tonight when you have a, a few minutes log into your Kartra account, click on my pages, click on this green button. And then you're going to look at, you're going to look at squeeze pages because that's a landing page is a squeeze page. Um, you can all, and so you can scroll down and just kind of see what to, all the colors, all that shit can be changed. The image, all that can be changed, but it's the template that we're looking at. And, and so there's a ton of different templates. I want you looking under squeeze pages to the left. I want you looking at maybe even video sales pages. A video sales page is where, again, that link that we're promoting, they go straight here and it's a simple video of Lorraine. Hey, thank you so much, right? It's a simple 60 second video getting them to purchase. You can look at video sales pages and see what template, what template you like, or you can look at, or you can look at, there's long form sales pages, which, which is really, really cool as well. So you can look at different templates, see which one you like. You can look at that one, or you can look at product launch pages where now, like here's, here's a preview of this one. So there's the top part. There could be a quick little video. There could be your, your, your four testimonies or reviews. And then there's some other basic stuff about here's chapter one, here's chapter two, here's chapter three. And, and so we can explain a little bit right there. And then there's a picture of your book, order mine now. So the template is there. Right. So, so that it right there is super clean and super simple. That right there is already done. So we can, we, so you can look at product launch or you can look at even product review. There's a, a few templates under product review and then that's about it. That's all you really need to need to focus on squeeze pages, video sales pages, long form sales pages, product launch and product review. Just pick out the template. Pick out the template, and here's all you're gonna do. You're gonna click on it. You're gonna click on. You're gonna click on select, and then you're gonna click on launch builder, and then you're gonna name it whatever, name it whatever, and then we're gonna put it in the book funnel, and then just leave this no site in particular. Click on create, and now we have a now we have a now we have the template, and then let's let's jump back on as soon as possible tomorrow whatever, and then and then and then we'll spend that time decking out this one page okay and that's our page that's it one page one page and we promote the shit out of this one page that's it so they come here again we won't use this you know specific page but um all we got to do is hover over like you can like you've done this before right like on the other on the listing one but hover over you could change the text you could change the image all these bullet points, mm -hmm. we could change all that. So everything is already here. All I got to do is scroll over and I could change the damn text yeah. on any of this stuff, like, and write my own, you know, and, and, and especially if you have an, an editor or any, or a writer, I mean, she would crush it at just, at just this, like the templates already there, fill in the damn blanks. Well, she's going to create the emails. Yeah. I just have to give her the, the link to the landing page. Cause she's going to write, she's going to write the emails. Yeah. Perfect. So and then, then that's, and, and again, th those emails are, are, are hosted in Kartra. You don't need a separate email autoresponder for that. No, she's just doing the email for the swap. And then... Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And okay. then that's the other thing I need. You know, and I've been... I was trying to look... Somebody told me about FreeUp, so I was on FreeUp. I'm trying to find someone that can help me write some content, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for, for all these follow-ups and all... Because that's the thing, you know... 
I'm on some of these lists. It's like, I get a freaking email every single day. I know for a fact, these guys did not sit down and write all of these emails. Here's what's even better than, than, than having to, having to do all that. Here's what's even better. And here's what I do. What I do is when you, when you go in and, and, and get my book, for example, there's a series of emails that come after and those emails, cause I'm no professional copywriter either, but at the same time, to me, copywriting is really just the real Lorraine because your audience, they're attracted to you because of you. So what happens a lot of times with all this junk email, you end up opting into some random shit and then you get all these corporate structured, perfectly written damn emails where it's like, you don't even open them because they're too damn salesy. They're too damn advertising. They're too damn corporate. They're too damn whatever in your emails, dumb it down. Put your own personality into it. But what I'm saying is that in my emails, not only do I text how I speak, like I'll even say bad words here and there in my damn emails because I'm attracting an audience who are attracted to me. You got to understand that. Like a lot of people on, on social media, content creators, we're all content creators. We're all putting out content. And what a lot of people do is they put out shit that is not even them. They're so oh, and I'm very fake. particular. Yeah. And I'm very particular about that. Right. I mean, right. You got someone, as long as I've got some basic content, then yeah. I'll make it my own. And, yeah. and, and so Carol, cause Carol helped me with the book and there are a couple of things that she helped me with like the intro and whatever. And then I went back. So I had the framework. I then went back and put it all into my own words. Perfect. So here's what I would do also on top of that with the emails. speaking of these emails that are going to follow simple videos, Lorraine, simple videos. So, so what I have, if you go through my book funnel, there's a, there's a series of emails that follow. And in every single email, there's some basic text and there's a video. In that video, they click on it. And in that video, it's me talking about the book. Strategically talking about the book, but, it, but, it, but it's me in video. So, so what I would do if I were you is I would start making a series of videos for the email which would allow you not have to write a bunch of freaking text. Like now, now, because well, the crazy part about video is people become indoctrinated when they visually see you on video. The reason why you're not opening up all that junk mail, because there's no personality and there's no one, there's no real person branded to it. It's another junk mail. So, so, so if you don't want people throwing your shit in the junk mail, you need to put your, yourself out there, which you are, but it's also putting myself out there via email. Because not only am I going to indoctrinate them on the front end, the top of the funnel, that's the content. That's what we're putting out on social media, whether it's an ad, whether it's Facebook Live, whatever. That's the top of the funnel. Not only are we indoctrinating them via video through that, but we're also going to get them indoctrinated and get them glued and loving who the hell you are via email. Because now your, now your emails are also video content and people are willing to watch your damn video email versus reading your three paragraph text on a bunch of bullshit. So last night I uploaded eight videos to my YouTube. Awesome. Which is basically, it's not about the book, but it relates to the book. So I'm hoping I can use some of that because it's already done. Perfect. Um, I just don't know how to take off um, my RE360, the logo that's on there. Um, cause I did this for a friend of mine who was supposed to be launching his real estate platform and he mm -hmm. wanted to promote me and my book. Mm -hmm. So I have eight videos up on there. Maybe I can use some of that, um, or cut some of it down so that it's not so long or use some clips. But then again, that's something else I need someone to help me with because I just, I just don't have the time to do all of this. Send, send me the link to, to one video and I'll find all of them. And, and, and I'm telling you, that's the email. The, that, the, those are our series of emails. It's video. And so when they get your email, which is my communications, you click on my communications. And then, and then when they opt in, they come to the landing page, they enter their name and email. They're on an actual list, but that list is tied to an email autoresponder, which is our sequence. So in this sequence, those are the emails that are going to go out. And, and, and I'm just saying video, video, video. And, and in these videos, we're talking about the book. So I have 10 emails that are already pre-written, ready to go out over the next 20 days. 
One's going to go out every other day. So you're going to download the book. You're going to buy the book today. And two days later, you're going to get the first email. And I have 10 of them. So it's not like we got to set up hundreds. It's like 10. And we spread it out over every other day. So, so over the next 20 days, they're going to hear from you. And so, and so again, in those emails, we're just, we're, all we're talking about is in the book. In my book, for, for example, to give you the perfect, perfect example, in my book, I'm teaching five steps. So in my emails that follow are videos on the five steps. That's it. Like, that's it. Like, so the first video that, the first email that goes out, I'm talking about step one. And it's me on video. Screen sharing, showing them. Step one. Hey guys, this is David. Just wanted to follow up. I know you downloaded my book a couple days ago. Hey, remember in chapter one where I'm talking about step one? Here's what I mean by it. I'm actually going to visually show you. I'm going to walk you through screen, through screen share and I'm going to show you what this step one is all about. This is going to be a game changer. It's going to really take your branding to the next level. God, now, if I, wrote so that, <laughs> if I wrote that in text, you would just be throwing that in the junk mail. But if I actually titled the subject line in the damn email, hey guys, watch this video. It's on step one. People are going to click on the email, watch my damn video, and without even knowing it, psycholo uh, psychologically become indoctrinated. That's the power of video, is that once you see someone for a few times and you actually like what they're speaking and, and you're interested in what they're speaking on, you become, quote, unquote, indoctrinated, meaning you start to trust them, you start to like them, you start to believe their shit. That's the power of video. So video, this whole video thing, it's not just because, oh, we want to do video. No, dude, there's actually science behind seeing my face, my ugly mug on video. There's, there's science behind that. That's why my YouTube channel is starting to explode because it's video. I'm showing the real me. I'm not sugarcoating shit. And it's me on video. And yeah, do, I'm not, do, do I'm everybody not sugarcoat shit either. Do, do, so. do, 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 does everybody like me? No. Do I need everyone to like me? No. no. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, people that are creating content on social media think that they need everyone to like them. It's like, dude, do you understand if we just got a piece of a billion-dollar market, we'd be fine? Just yeah, give me a damn exactly. crumb. I don't need everyone. Like, even my YouTube channel right now, I'm about to cross 700 for the month as far as income on my YouTube channel. And it's a small YouTube channel. I'm only, I'm only at a couple thousand subscribers. But that's already going to offset an extra 700 a month in residual income for me. Mm -hmm. It's like, shit, I'll take it, right? And that's on 2,000 subscribers, which ain't nothing. But 700 a month, that pays damn my car note. That pays, yeah. you know, a lot. It offsets some good expenses monthly that I have, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not even big yet. So if, if, so, so if I'm out here trying to impress the world, I'd screw myself. And that's what a lot of social media people that are putting out content, they're perfectionists. They need every little damn thing to be perfect. It's like, no, you don't. Stutter in your damn video. Have your hair all messed up. Don't even put on makeup. Because the real people that gravitate to you, those are your customers, man. And as long as they keep seeing us on video, and if we're running that video as an ad, that means thousands are seeing us while we're sleeping. That's how we really leverage it and get thousands of people to know who we are by tomorrow. Like that, that, that's Facebook advertising. And, and when we can keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that's when the magic happens. And, and we got we to we gotta, we gotta play with big numbers. That's why this whole social media, posting here, posting there, it's like, dude, you're playing with small numbers. Facebook ad, the only difference is that we play with big numbers. That's the only difference. Now we're, we're, we're willing to pay for big numbers, big exposure. I need 50,000 people to see my shit by tomorrow, not the 5,000 friends that I have and only 200 of them are yeah. interested in, in yeah. investing. Right, your your followers on Instagram. You got four thousand followers on IG, but how many are actually interested in what the hell we're doing? Right, so I don't need five thousand followers on Instagram. I need five hundred thousand in my audience seeing my shit by tomorrow. And the only way I can do that is through a Facebook ad, and 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 a landing page. That's it. So, um, that sequence, emails, video. That's all I'm saying. Video. Video, 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 where you're talking about the damn book. Let's break down the book. That's your content. And that's your content for the front, front of the funnel. These videos that we're going to start putting out, that's the content. Let's talk about the damn, damn book. Break down the damn book. My, I'm, I'm telling you, Russell Brunson, what I was about to show you, he's literally reading his book. That's what he's doing in his damn videos. He's My reading not the, that long. <laughs> he's reading the damn book. Like he's, he's picking different chapters out of the book and reading it as if it's freaking story time. 
And I'm telling you, it's crazy powerful. So you don't have to sit there as you, and, 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 and act like we're in kindergarten and, you know, everyone circle around. I'm going to read you. It's story time. It doesn't necessarily have to be like that. You don't have to read the whole damn chapter, but pick out a few paragraphs. Pick out a paragraph and say, hey, guys, I want to break down this paragraph. This is what I wrote on, on page 19, and here's what, I was mean, here's what I meant by it. That becomes the front of the funnel, and it's also the back end, which is your email sequence, your email autoresponder. See, and then I've got, I've got to go through. I just need my brain to just shut down. I had, I haven't looked at it because I actually did a workshop in, when did I do it? January, mm -hmm. where I had someone record the entire thing. There's like three hours of content. Um, she cleaned it up and stuff. I haven't looked at it since she sent it to me because I haven't had the time to just sit down and go through the whole thing. But I literally went through a deal and how to analyze a deal and how what's the maximum allowable offer. Some of the things I talk about in my book, I have all of that. It was just mm -hmm. me in a classroom with a whiteboard and the MLS up going, look, this is how I analyze my deals. I'm sure I could use some of that too. I just have to go in there and and just get the time to sit down and look at it and figure out where to cut it, where to clip it because um that's just me being me in like and i like to educate so that's just mm -hmm. me being me in like teacher mode mentor mode um i've got to go through that too because I, I that there's quite a bit in there as well i just don't know how to edit or cut or do any of that shit. okay well the editing i'm telling you the editing is not even not even important simple video on your cell phone that's it no right, but I'm saying shit. I've got I've got some good content on there that's already gotcha. done. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Well, send me those videos. What, May, May, what are we at? May? Why is oh, it shipping? Wow. Why is why is it so late? I have no idea. That right there is a problem. That's a problem. Why the I hell? think it's I, I so I think it's because No, it can't Amazon, be not, not that long. My book People, uh, yeah, it shouldn't take that long because people got their books fairly quick. My daughter took a week for me to get my copies. It took three weeks. And I think it's because they're trying to just push out from when I logged into Amazon at the top of my page, it said that they're having shipping delays because right now they're shipping essentials first before they ship anything else. That right there, yeah. we got to, yeah, we got to, we got to, I mean, shit, that's the, that's the that's that's what sucks about Amazon sometimes. Well, actually, I mean, Amazon is is a beast. I mean, I don't have nothing bad to say, but as far as the entrepreneur, as far as us, as far as you, it's like shit. Really, I gotta wait a month to get the damn book. Like that's that's we gotta we gotta we gotta. I don't. That's what I'm I saying. I have no man. control over Amazon. Have, so. we, exactly, we have no control over that, and that's why we gotta go. We gotta go direct con to consumer, man. We have to go direct to consumer. Amazon, we gotta cut them out. But, and, and so you got, yeah, I mean, it's going to come down, it's going to come down how much it's going to cost you per unit. Like how much is it really going to, what's our real cost per unit, which you, you, you know, we went over this the, the, our, on our other call, but we got to get some on deck. Like you gotta, you gotta be sitting on it. You gotta be sitting on at least a hundred books at all times. Like you gotta be, we gotta be taking people straight to our freaking webpage, them order it on online through, through Kartra. And, 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 and whether it's your daughter mailing them out and that's her job, your job is to, you're, you're now in our shipping and receiving department, daughter. You're She's now trying to get through law school right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so don't put too much on her plate. Say, so forget about my, my paperwork. Forget about, let me handle my business on the real estate side. I need so you in the shipping do, department. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't do anything. Um, I'm wondering since I have and just do it for less or something. I have the, di I mean, I have the PDF of the book. I have the digital copy. Okay. You have, okay. That's what, okay. Okay. So do you understand that you could be selling that digital copy? Like I'm selling my digital copy for five fifty. And, and, and do you understand that? Let's do the math. Like taken into, because obviously I have my, my, uh, 2.9, 2.9% credit card transaction fee. My profit, my, what did I do wrong? Um, I my profit is probably like, I'm telling you, this is how powerful digital is. 
2.9%. What am I not doing right? I don't know what you're trying to do, so. Well, I'm just, I'm just, um, actually that that's actually, I'm so sorry. That's 15 cents. So my profit, my, my profit is, is a little over five bucks. My profit is okay. a little over $5 on a digital product. Your profit is not, not, not that much far off from that trying to do it this way. No, it's too. I say, screw the damn physical copy. I'm saying right now, now that I know everything, now, now that I really see everything, I should say, screw Amazon, screw the physical copy. If you want the physical copy, okay, cool, go to Amazon. But I'm giving it to you right now for half off through digital. Do you understand we're in a digital world? Ain't no one gonna, 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 gonna hesitate or, or rebuttal or, or, or object to that. Shit, okay, I don't need a physical copy. Everything we're consuming is digital anyways. So if I can go to your damn website and order that thing for five fifty or even nine bucks, here's what I would do: I would sell it for I would sell it for seven dollars. Yeah, seven ninety nine is the Kindle edition. Seven ninety nine, and it's a digital copy. That is it, Lorraine. That is it. I have nothing else to tell you, man. That is it. That is the silver bullet. That is what we're gonna do. We're gonna sell the digital copy. Screw Amazon. Screw the physical. We don't need it. You don't need it. You will make way more. You'll make a hundred times more selling the digital copy. Okay. So what page do I need to do then for them to get the digital copy in Kartra? Again, I have, we have these simple. You want me to go through all of those? All you're going to do is simply, and all it comes down to is, yeah, going through, going, hitting the green, clicking on my pages to the left, clicking on the green button, and then going through those tabs that I mentioned. Okay. Okay. And just picking out the template, picking out the simple template. Let's, let's do this really quick. Click the green button. And what you're going to want is a simple squeeze page. That's all. That's, that's the landing page. That's the one I want. That's the landing page. page. And then we want a thank you page. So after they opt in, send me my free copy. Now it takes them straight to a thank you page where I would suggest one of these on video. Hey, this is Lorraine. Thank you so much for downloading your free copy of Flip the Switch. I just wanted to personally introduce myself and say thank you for getting this copy. I want to kind of give you a little background of what I do and, and how I even came up with the concept to write this book, right? So it's a quick one minute video thanking them, introducing yourself, and also most importantly, telling them, telling them to check their emails over the next couple of days because you have training videos that are coming out to describe the book. So, so, so now it's you on video. That's the thank you page. That is it. And then, so we have the squeeze page. We have a thank you page. And then we come over here to my memberships and we click on files right here at the top and we upload that file. So the PDF that you have, you're going to come over here. You're going to hit that green button and you're going to go to what I would do is I'd put it, manage my categories. Let's, let's set up a book funnel book funnel category. So all, so any PDFs that we need to add to that, you know, we could just, you know, strategically categorize everything now. And then we're going to upload so, that file. Hang on. Where, Go where ahead. did you do that? Sorry. No, no, no worries. I clicked on my memberships on the left, my membership, my memberships on the left. I'm recording this. So I'll send you the copy. My memberships, we click and, and, and I didn't record any of the beginning, just, just everything in the end. So I can really teach on this cartridge thing my memberships and then files and then you upload that file so i already have the funnel so the category i mean so we click on book funnel upload it straight from your computer the pdf that's where the pdf goes so right here if that if that was the pdf i'd open it and then it would it would it would now be in fact let me just give you let me just do this as an example so i'll upload the pdf okay let me just um it's the title let me just Come back over here real quick. So just make sure the title is not so long. Actually, let me just edit the title. So if I edit, let me, where the hell can I, why can't I rename it? All I got to do is rename it. Um, Actually, you know what? My bad. Let me go to downloads. It's right here. Okay, so let me let me rename this. 
And then if I go to 10 real estate, so many more than 10 real estate. Let's just, let's just take out this. Okay, so it just has to be a shorter title, the actual um, name of the file. So now 10 real estate, 10 real estate. Okay, so let me come back over here. And then what I'm gonna do is let's cancel this out. Click on my memberships, click on files, click on the green one, hit the drop down, go to book funnel, upload file. And then it's in my downloads. It's 10 real estate right there. So I open it. Now we have that file. We hit next. And now this link is what I put in the email. So I come over here. I get URL. I copy this link. This link, the moment they come to the page, they enter their name and email, send me your digital copy now. They go to a thank you page. Instantly, Kartra emails them the link to download. So in, in what I would do is I would do it in my forms. And I'm going to help you with all this stuff. Don't even worry. But in the forms, this is where, this is the form that they would fill out. So this is for the listing, but we'll do another one for the book. This is where that initial email. So the initial email that goes out to them right away. That's what this form is all about. So we're asking for a name and email. And we can ask for more information if you wanted to, but name and email is all I suggest asking for on the front end. Um, and then the success page is the thank you page, which we'll add later. And then here's the welcome message. So this welcome message, this is what, what we had for the actual listing. <clears throat> this is what we'll have for the book. So in the book, this button in the book email, click here to download your copy now. This right here is where the link goes for the book. That's it. That is it. And so that email went out instantly. And then now over the next few days, they're going to get a series of emails, educating them on the book. And when, 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 when we're ready for the next step, the next step, as I'm telling you, is coaching. Either, either, either you're going to provide a coaching call where we're charging. I think that's major, major, major powerful for you. And that's simple. One day a week, we jump on Zoom and I do a group coaching Q&A to walk you through everything, the ins and outs of investing in real estate. And it's $97 a month and you get, my, you get all my time for, and let's say we even go two hours. We go two hours once a week on Zoom and it's $97 a month. I'm telling you, Lorraine, like that right there is so powerful. It's so simple and it's all digital. No overhead, no expenses, no physical shit. We don't need none of that. I don't need no 70-30 split with no freaking Indian. I don't need none of that. So that right there is super, super powerful. And, and that's all you. That's all you. So again, content is where it starts. Content. And, and, and the best way to create it is by educating, not selling. Educate the consumer. Talk about the damn book. Send them and direct them to your link. That is it. And we're selling our digital copy at $7.99. Okay. Actually, you know what I would do? I would do, I would do, I would do, I, I would do, I, I do seven bucks, seven bucks. Because even at seven bucks, even at seven bucks, you go seven, seven times 2.9%, which is your credit card processing fee. That's, that's 29 cents. So you're still, you're still profiting. You're still profiting six freaking, what is that? Six um, freaking 71, $6 and 71 cents. You're still profiting six seventy, and you don't got to ship out anything. It's like, dude, how many how many of those can we bring in a day, like without even lifting a finger, without even paying a middleman like Amazon? That's powerful. That that right there is super powerful, super powerful, and that's simple. So I would go right now all digital, all digital. Digital ebook, digital marketing, send them to a landing page. That's it. Okay. I'll work on that later. Later today. So, oh, so go ahead. yeah, come come into my pages and just pick out, pick out a squeeze page. Hit the green button. Click and, and again, let me let me really, really, really walk you through it. Hit like let's just pick out pick out a squeeze page. And once you find your one, hit select. And then you're going to hit launch builder. And once you go into launch builder, then you name it, whatever you want. Um, let's put it in the book funnel category. We don't need any, we'll go no site in particular. 
click create. And then once it opens up, that's the builder. You don't really need to play around with it right now. I just need to know your taste and see which one we, we want up there. And, and again, the colors, all that, all that stuff can be changed. I, we just need the template. And so once we come into the builder, then you're going to come up here to the top right. Once it loads, you'll come to the top right, and then you'll just hit return to dashboard. Oh, and that's was, our squeeze page. I knew there was a question I had. Um, hit this is, return to dashboard, and that's it. Okay. Go ahead. How many, how many people? Uh, so, can you email from Kartra? Like, hell yeah. You email from like you email from like Mailchimp because hell I, yeah. I went in and I pull. I look. I finally looked at this list last week because I was like, I got to see how many people I have in here, and so I have about sixty eight hundred people on that mailing list, mm -hmm. and I need to go put them somewhere, and so I didn't know if Kartra had a limit on number of like emails and stuff there is a limit but at the same time who, who's whose list is that is that your list or someone else's list so it's a combined list that my one of my colleagues and i we got together and we just and then somebody's like well that's you shouldn't do that and i'm like well it's too late it's done we did this about a year and a half ago and we combined our lists to have a bigger mailing list so it's a list of investors and real estate agents Okay. Who so it, I'm going to mail. So I'm going to mail to them Tom's book and Tom's going to mail my book to his list. That's why I want to capture that information because I don't have the people on his list and I want to build my list. So, um, yeah, they're right now. It's just sitting in an Excel spreadsheet. I've never done anything with it. Okay. And it's okay. time I start using that list and doing something with it because somebody's like, you're sitting on a gold mine. Like, cause, but I don't know what to do with it. That's the problem. Okay. Well, okay. we just need to upload them into Kartra and that's it. So okay, if, if where, you have a CSV file, we can upload it into Kartra. It is. It's a CSV file. Okay. So over here in my communications, this is where our email list is. This is where our email auto response. So, so we have our list and then we have, then we can look at our leads. And then tags, I'll teach you about tags, but then communications, this is where we can come in and send out one email randomly. Let's say, for example, we just wake up and we're feeling some kind of way and we got shit on our mind and we want to email it to our list. That's a broadcast. Your sequences are the email autoresponders, the emails that are already preset, ready to go out. Yep. And then your automations are, if they click on this, put them on this list. If they unsubscribe from this list, send them over here. So automations, I'll teach you later. And then the analytics, we can look at who opened it, who clicked all that stuff into the analytics. But when it comes to what you have, we click on list and then we can name the list and then we can simply upload it from right here. Okay. All right. I'll do that later. So, so that, yeah, that part, that part's simple. Um, that's just uploading. As long as you have the CSV file, then we can, we can upload it for sure. Yeah. It's, it's a CSV file. Yeah. Um, and it's tagged with, and I have it tagged with who, which, which partner I partnered. So I had two guys and we, we, like I said, we combined our lists mm -hmm. and it'll say it has my name and whoever's name that list came from. So, so I, okay, just, perfect. Um, so, okay. so here's the call to actions. Obviously we got to start thinking of content and again, keep it simple. Talk about the book. That's your video content. Don't think you have to create something crazy extravagant. No, dude, let's just talk about the damn book. Talk about the damn book. Read, read a few paragraphs in the damn book. Read one paragraph. Read a few sentences. Go back to the property like you mentioned. That's your video content. And then that's also your emails that follow. Okay, so that, that's number one. Number two, I want you thinking ebook. I want you thinking digital copy. The hell with your physical copy. The hell with Amazon. I want you thinking physical copy and you don't need to sell it for that much. You, you don't need to sell it for that much at all because again, the profit margin is way greater than, than that physical copy or, or, or equal to. Equal figure to, out whatever yeah. yeah yeah so so if we sold a digital copy at seven dollars and fifty cents seven fifty or seven dollars seven dollars seven dollars that's my digital copy i'm telling you lorraine you have a shitload of people that buy that and if we can control all that through our pages in kartra to to set up the facebook ad because that's what's needed is that thank you page to run successful facebook ads it's conversions we need to know that thank you page and 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 that and that's what we need the landing page for but Number two, digital. And then number three, I want you in the, my pages later on and just pick out, pick, out, pick out a squeeze page and pick out a thank you page. 
And that's it, Lorraine. That's it. That's it. That's all, that's all there is to it, man. That's all there is to it. There's nothing else. And, and again, you, you can drive yourself crazy by thinking you have to post on all these platforms all the time. That's what's also driving you crazy is thinking that you have to be doing that, which the normal person has to. If they're not thinking leveraging Facebook advertising, then that's how they're thinking. And they're overwhelmed thinking that way, thinking they have to always be posting all the time. It's like, dude, I'm telling you, you don't have to do that. If we did one damn video a week and ran it as a Facebook ad, we would sell a shitload, especially with this new way. Digital, ebook, us controlling the landing page, selling direct to consumer. We will crush it. We're, we're, you're going to crush it. Already consider it done. Consider it done. You're going to freaking crush it through, through selling an ebook. Okay. So let's chat again ASAP tomorrow, during the next week, whatever. Like, but, but, but sometime today or tomorrow, come in here, click my pages, and at least just get up the damn landing page. Like, let, pick the template. And then, and then it, it takes, you know, a couple minutes just to decorate it. But we need, we need a little bit of content, you know, on that page, which can be the content that you have already on your damn, you know, freaking. Yeah, which page somebody actually told me it was, I, I, I have a very good, she's my best friend and she's super particular and she used to write. She's like, whoever wrote that, yeah, like the intro on Amazon, because whoever wrote it, it's really well written. I was like, well, mm -hmm. thank you, because I wrote it. See? So, um, yep. see, I'm really good at writing when I put my mind, when I want to, I actually really like to write. It's okay. just so then you can easily doing it. You yeah. can easily decorate a landing page. And the landing page, again, it's not, there, there, are, there are long form, this is a long form sales page. And, 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 and as long as it is, and, and, and most people will be like, damn, this is a lot of shit. I'm not reading all that shit. Yeah. That's what most people would think. But at the same time, there's science behind this. As a person reads the whole damn thing, again, I don't need everyone. I just need a handful. The handful that actually take the time to read the whole damn thing, those are the customers that I really, really want. Those are people that are going to actually buy. And so there's science behind a long form, but at the same time, if you want go, if you want to go short form, you can go short form as well. And the only reason why this is long form is because I'm actually selling it. The other page was short form because I'm just giving it away for free. So, so you have enough content to write at least this, this much information. Like, and, and again, they, they come down here, send me the book and boom, $7, $7. And I'm telling you, your back end is $97 a month for a coaching call. People will pay that. And, and you label it as two hour, two hour weekly coaching calls once a week. Shit, I'm telling you, I'm paying. And, and, and even if you don't go 97 a month, even if you went, because these are, these are powerful price points, $97 a month is a powerful price point in marketing. And also $47 is a powerful power, uh, uh, pricing point when it comes to digital products. $47. So if we didn't go, if we don't go 97, it's 47. So if I had $47 a month, you know, if I had, let's just say a couple hundred people that I got on that, that's not that bad. You know, even, even, even at, even at a hundred people, you know, you put a hundred people times 47 bucks. I mean, that's 4,700 a month in recurring commission. Yeah. And I need to do it in a way. And I would do 97 because even at 97, I mean, I've charged people 150 bucks an hour Yeah. Um, for, for one-on-one. -on -one. And so my thought was to maybe do like a group, like a, yeah, like a group coaching call or something. At 50 people at 97 bucks, there's 4,800 a month. Yeah. And they get you for two hours a week on a coaching zoom call. That's your upsell. 10, you know, a hundred people. Cause I'm telling you, people will pay for that. A hundred people, a hundred people at $97 a month. You know, that that's where you'll eventually want to be. Obviously. I mean, that's, that's, that's reoccurring. I have one guy in my market who calls himself a guru who is posting all over Instagram. He's charging $500 for a one-on-one -on -one session with him. Yeah. And, and, see, and I'm like, yeah, I don't need five. I mean, I think that's excessive. Um, yeah, it, it is. And, and it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it. But at the same time, He's taken them on individually, one at a time, and 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 and, and he probably because he's probably successful, and that's fine. But you probably also have ten calls a day lined up, that physically is draining. Like so, if if I'm doing five hundred an hour and I'm talking to one person at a time, how many can I really do per day? Like not that many. Like well, yeah, he limited it to right? I have seven yeah. spots open. I think it was right? more of a marketing. It's like oh, I've got seven spots open, and that's it. And get them while you can. And 
Yeah, blah, but if blah, he's blah, blah, and yeah, that whatever, however he wants to create urgency, that's fine. But the fact is, is that when you're doing done for you, it's what we call it, quote unquote, done for you services, meaning that I have that I'm doing it, I'm physically doing it. And, and if I'm breaking it up individually, because I'm charging 500 an hour, so I'm doing it individually, because that person gets all my freaking time. There's only 24 hours in a day, bro. So how many, how many, how many of those people can you actually talk to before you're freaking pulling your damn hair out? Because even this phone call alone takes a lot of my freaking energy. Yeah, yeah. You think I could do this to 10 different people a day? Hell no. No, no. So I, I have to leverage it in a better way. And, and, and that's, what, that's where group, group coaching calls come in, where, you, where you're not, you know, you're doing it once a week to a, a group of 50. Yeah. And these are people paying you a low ticket, but it's like, shit, that's reoccurring. Because it's like tonight we have our REN uh, meeting, our virtual meeting. Uh, I'm because they're they're Pacific with Deborah. You've talked to Deborah yeah, and Michelle, yeah, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. have our meeting tonight. And I was like, okay, I, so my section is going to be talking about my book and and writing a book. And even amidst all of this stuff and my husband losing his job and all the shit that's going on, I still launched my book. Mm -hmm. Um, so um. Yeah, I'll probably work on that this afternoon because if I can have that link set up for tonight, that would be awesome. In case anybody asks me, I can just say, go here. Um, okay. So then and then, yeah, I got flip the switch books. Book.com was taken, but books.com was not taken. So if I need that, I've got, I've got that. And that I know how to do. I know how to forward websites because I've done enough of that in my time that I know how to go in and forward this to there. Okay. Um, so then that part we got to just integrate it with Kartra, which i'll yeah, help which you I do don't know. but yeah. it's just forwarding it to the link right so oh just, that's right it creates a link that's right yeah every page has its own link so we're going to just forward it to this link for example and that's it but we have to in, in, we have to add that domain to Kartra, and that's that's a whole nother call i can so, do that later yeah yeah we'll we'll, okay. we'll do that for sure that part's simple that part's simple but did you get it through godaddy yes perfect perfect okay cool so that part's easy um but having the damn page up by tonight, I don't know if, if you have that kind of time. Like, yeah, I don't know. You know, but just, but at the same time, you could still give out the link and say, "Hey, you guys, here's the link, and we will be live within the next forty eight hours." Okay, that's a good. That's okay. So promote the damn link and say, "Hey, we'll be live in forty eight hours." That's that's okay. Cool. And, 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 and I'm, I'm, I'm promoting this because I know we're now in a digital world. So rather than going physical and, and, and use that as part of, of, your, of your pitch. So you guys, when I rolled out this book, I was, I was going to be you know, selling it on Amazon. But as we're going through this pandemic and everybody's freaking out, Amazon, have, have their, their shipping, estimated shipping is completely, it's like freaking so damn long. And so I didn't want you to wait. I, in fact, I just had my friend David order a copy and he, he wasn't going to get his copy till a month out later. So I had to kind of adjust, and that's when I went to digital. So now I, I lowered the price. You guys can straight go to Amazon and get it for twelve ninety nine for sure. Be my guest. But if you want a discount and you want that damn copy now, here's the digital copy. So you can use that to your advantage and give the real experience on shit, man. I don't want you waiting a month to get my damn book. I don't want you paying full price. I'm going to email it to you instantly, and it's only $7. Okay. You know, so digital ebook, Lorraine, digital ebook. I'm telling you, man, you could, you can, it's, it's, it's powerful, super powerful, super powerful. That's all I got to say. So, so pick out your pages tonight and then, and then let's chat again ASAP. Okay. Okie okay. Dokie. I will no do that. stress. It's all good. We're going to get through <sighs> it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Reach out to me anytime. And I'll be back on Facebook in no time. <laughs> I was like, wait, where yes. the hell did he go? Oh my gosh. They pissed me off. It's like the third time they've done that to me, but I'm looking and looking and look like, okay, his messages. I can't message him. His face, his See? profile's gone. I'm like, what did I do? I said, did I piss him off and he blocked See? me? <laughs> no, no, no. See, I come from, when I was a lender, I was, I was an, a loan originator. And even before that, I, I, I come and I came from telemarketing. So I'm, I'm a sales guy by nature. I started telemarketing at 19 years old, just working for random companies and selling shit over the phone and, and calling cold calling. Right. And so I, that all started when I was young, but then also when I get, got a little older, I got into the mortgage industry and we were also doing that. We were cold. We were not necessarily cold calling, but we were, we were buying leads. Yeah. My best friend who owns a company to this day, they do very, very well. He still is a lead buyer. So he purchases leads for all of his LOs. And so I'm the type of guy that can dial 700, 800 numbers a day and not even break a sweat. 
And so I took that same philosophy and mindset and work ethic to Facebook where I direct message hundreds of people a day. And so that's how I've been operating and building my business with real estate agents since 2016. And so now this is like the third time where Facebook's like, hey, you know, fucker, you damn message. You can't be messaging this many times. That's what it is. It's a slap on my hand to say, hey, man, you can't just be, you can't be throwing out that many messages. And so. Gotcha. Well, look, you got a bunch of real estate agents. They need to buy my book. Right. (laughs) I'll I'll pay you a referral fee. (laughs) Right. Lorraine, I'm telling you, man, I have 5,000 of them on my personal page. You and I, that's our next call. We, we need, need to, to collaborate. We need to do a simple vi- Facebook live. We can easily do Facebook live. Cause again, most people don't have an audience on their friends list that all fit our criteria. I do. I do like I do. So, so I, I'm surprised Deborah hasn't, you know, hit me up on something like that because she's a smart gal. You know, she's uh, not Rochelle and I are very, very frustrated. It's like, um, I have, very, yeah. yeah. Like I have, I have everyone that is your ideal audience. They're on my friend list. So you and I need to collaborate. We need to, we need to do that. We need to go Facebook live and we need to promote your book. Every yeah. single one of them is your ideal client. See, cause what Deborah should be doing right now and she's not, it's like, she can't get out of her own way. And I, and, and Rochelle was so frustrated cause she talked to her a couple of days ago. She's like, she doesn't listen. They're so worried about converting these women on this virtual call. I think we have a hundred and 107 women for tonight. Mm-hmm. And they're so wound up about converting them into members. It's all about the membership mm-hmm. and they're mm-hmm. charging for this. Man. And I, I made the comment while I said, I have watched so much free content in the last month. Mm-hmm. It's mind blowing. Mm-hmm. And she's, and her whole thing is she wants to charge these people 10 bucks to, to attend this virtual meeting. And I'm like, you need to get out of your own way, build the audience first right. yeah. and then convert them. And I mean, I had 18 people in my Atlanta chapter RSVP to say that they're going to go. And I guarantee you when they go and they see that they have to pay 10 bucks, they drop off. That's the yeah. other thing. I'm glad she adjusted the time because the meeting in March was at nine o'clock at night because they're all Pacific time. I'm the only one on the East coast. And I'm like, you have to be cognizant that, I mean, I have almost 1,100 women in my meetup group. That's a lot. And if you keep tailoring everything to time that's only really suits the Pacific Coast, well, that's a problem. And that's why I told her, I said, you know, and I also told her, when you send out the emails, can you please just stop posting everything in Pacific time? Mm -hmm. Put all the time zones. It's you know, it's eight to nine thirty Eastern. It's you know seven to eight, whatever it is, because I keep getting text messages from people going, "Hey, I'm on the call, but there's nobody here." And I'm like, "Yeah, because you need to add three hours to the time because people just don't take the time to yeah. read the time zone." Yeah, exactly. You know, and she's got this member clips website that is just so cumbersome, and we keep telling her. People aren't going to go for meetup to then go to the Ren Member Clips website to then where they have to create an account mm-hmm. and then sign in to then get the Zoom link. There's too many steps. Yeah, yeah. Well, everyone, yeah, everyone's a little different. That's weird. Yeah, everyone's a little different. So let's stay focused on this damn book, Lorraine. Forget about everything else. Let's stay yeah, well, focused. That's what, I, that's what I'm doing. And just and let's chat again ASAP. Okay. okay. I got All another right. call. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're so welcome. Bye-bye.